Right, righto, good motherfucking legends. As you can see, on the uh, on the colas tonight, not having a fucking beer. So I thought I'd give it a rest tonight. Fucking don't want to be fucking waking up tomorrow pissing blood. So just sticking to the fucking just the, the brown liquids, but yeah, just the colas. Feel like a piss weight cunt, but who gives a shit? Um, so I just wanted to jump in quickly and. I know I've got, I said I was going to do the, the next album. Uh, the next update was going to be on the interview. Still do, do have that in the works. Still waiting on a reply from the project. So I thought I'd jump in and just do a quick one. Just to fill in the fucking blanks and, yeah, keep your motherfuckers, you know, keep this full, keep your bellies full. Um, the first thing I wanted to um, talk about was um, next Saturday, got a metal cruise for you motherfuckers out in Melbourne. Get down to that motherfucker, it's pretty cheap. Hell on the Bay. I go most years. It's not really fucking particularly for the bands. I just like to get on the fucking ship and drink as many beer, fucking beers as I can. Drink the fuck out of some beers, get up absolutely fucking shit faced, and then fucking hopefully not fall in the water and drown. But this year there is one band that I am quite keen to check out, which is Werewolves. They are headlining the Saturday night. I know it's a two night event this time round, so. I'm gonna go to fucking Saturday, I'm gonna go see werewolves and drink as many fucking stubbies as I can. So come fucking join us if you want. It's only about 48 bucks a ticket, and fucking get yourselves into it. And meanwhile, I'm on the fucking the soft shit. Yeah, so the cruise does, it looks like this. I'll chuck it up here actually. I've got it on my phone, but yeah. Chuck it up there. And yeah, fuck the white knight. Come on the, the on the um, I think they've got like uh, two themes. They've got the fucking like a, a, a white knight and a black knight. Meant to dress in black. I ain't dressing in shit, mate. I'll be fucking dressing in what the fuck I'm in. Might even go into nude. Who knows? If he's lucky. But yeah, Saturday night. Come to that. Get on the beers. And yeah, as far as this uh, next or oh, this update is concerned, we'll fucking we'll jump in. I'm just gonna show a fucking just a few random vinyls. No fucking real theme to this. I've got one that's probably uh, well out of the ordinary. Not black metal at all. It's what the fuck I've been listening to. Hopefully you can get around it. If not, who gives a shit? Doesn't matter, does it? Righto. So we'll fucking jump in. Uh, through the first one, which is a fucking cracker from uh, the Netherlands. Let's fucking jump in, boys. Cheers. Right. so into our first one. Uh, we're going to be talking about. Um, yeah. So it is a, a duo from um, the Netherlands. Pug town, motherfuckers. Can't aim in the video, but he's getting a little bit of a shout out. There he goes. He'll be asking for fucking coin for that, the dog. Um, yeah, he's a fucking dog. I don't want to talk about it. Anyways, yeah, so it is Turgle. Um, yeah, so it is a duo, which is none other than the Spectre and Morden Denstrevold. Um, both, um, you fucking both, you know I'm fucking obviously from Old Tower, especially the Spectre. Um, Val, another fucking fantastic project. I wish they hadn't split up because they were fucking, they were a cracker. Good shit. Um, I do believe Dentrevold was in a band called Dentrevold. I think he still is. Um, ha, ha. And they're both in fucking uh, Blood Tyrant. So, you know, they fucking obviously get around each other's work. They fucking, they do fucking good shit. And this is some fucking awesome symphonic of black metal. As I said, out of the Netherlands. Great stuff. It's just a comp compiled of um, two, I think two demos that they did a couple of years back. But it's a bit of an anomaly with this album because what I found when it fucking first hit, it seemed like fucking every cunt was trying to grab one and, you know, cunts were crawling over each other for it. Like it was a fucking, you know, the fucking, what is it, fucking, what's a cunt after Christmas? The fucking, the Boxing Day sales? Cunts were crushing each other to try and get a copy of it. But it doesn't seem to have fucking really sat with anyone or fucking, no one seems to be really talking about it. No, no, other than fucking uh, White Filth, he's one that, Kind of, he, he, he pointed this my way, so fucking, I jumped on it now, I was fucking more than stoked. That's fantastic. As I said, if you like your symphonic uh, metal, it's just between a fucking mid-paced, gets up and fucking kicks about a little bit. The one thing that I will say, and I suppose why my ears fucking really prick with this, is the fact that it, it fucking, it really has like a bit of a, um, the same vibe as what fucking Diabolical Full Moon give off, with those that, the way the keys ride throughout the, the whole music. Gives it a fucking sense of drama and yeah, it just kicks you in the pills, really. But yeah, fantastic release. Do believe the tapes were first put out through 
I don't know whether it was through one of their um, labels, like their smaller labels. Scrugger Reach Production. Or, yeah, I didn't fucking know about them when the, those cassettes got um, put out. Wasn't until this drop that, yeah, I jumped on board and yeah, I was fucking obviously quite happy with it. But um, NPR Productions has done a fucking fantastic job. And this, yeah, this is some absolutely cracking shit. I think besides the two, uh, the demos, the demo songs too, there is one unreleased track on here. Not sure which one it is, so fucking I'm not gonna tell ya. Just fucking jump on board and give it a crack. Do believe you can still find this through Azra Records and have a look on, maybe Purity Through Fire may have copies of this too, or did. If not, that's fuck. oh, Phantom Lua as well. That's another fucking motherfucker for well, you. Jump on, give this a belt, yeah. Nice, simple, straightforward fucking black metal. Um, the next one is too. It actually, they do as well. Fucking really do lean into that fucking second wave. And I'm, I'm starting to find that I think there seems to be a real certain renaissance. Renaissance? Is that the fucking word? We're going to go with renaissance. Renaissance? Yeah. Around that second wave fucking vibe is really starting to come through on a few of the releases I'm, I'm finding. And yeah, some of that shit's really starting to hit with me. Maybe that's why I'm fucking liking it. Because yeah, that's why I fucking appreciate the cunt. Maybe you will too. We'll chuck up a little snippo for you. See what the fuck you reckon. Get around it or don't. Cheers. next one this is why I was meant to fucking show this first anyway but I suppose the reason I did show that first one is because that is what we have cracking in the background it's fucking fantastic and you deserve fucking jump on the cunt what can I say just do that um so with this one um this one I kind of I jumped on this as a just as a bit of a fucking blind buy when I bought it I bought a couple of vinyls and I grabbed this thing as well there's very little information on the band itself if you jump on and fucking search them. But um, all I know is that fucking stands for Black Witchcraft. Did originally have the name Ice Foe before this motherfucker. So I think they've had, a, they've had a handful of demos come out and also they've had, yeah, this full length as well. Um, tape releases have been put out through Gems label. This one was put out through a new era. Fucking cracking label, we all know them. And yeah, horrible, horrible room. Horrible room productions and you here put this motherfucker out together. I would love to get my fucking hands on a vinyl release if this does happen. But it was the picture on the front that fucking caught my attention. Just a wolf punching on with a bear. In the forest, in the thickets. Fucking grouse shit. But this is fucking absolutely fantastic. As I said, it did come out last year. If it had to come out this year, I'll tell you what, it will be sitting up there with the fucking, some of the top of the releases that I've heard for the year. Really is that fucking phenomenal. I fucking love it. And I, yeah, I'm fucking, absolutely fucking foaming for a bloody uh, a vinyl release of this. Um, so as I said, yeah, it does translate to Black Witchcraft. And this really does, it's a Russian band. And it really does have the fucking the spirit of that that Russian vibe um, that you would have heard throughout probably the mid to late 90s. Particularly with like, um, probably with Caldrad's works. I do hear parts of that, like with say Forest, um, early Brannacold, fucking even like Vargley, shit like that from the back. Like fucking obviously they just got the releases on Azra as well. Fucking good shit, go and grab it. But um, yeah, this is phenomenal. And it also for me, this fucking really taps into probably once again, I know I say it, but fucking, I reckon Dark Throne would have to have some of the biggest influence. Well, it goes without saying, really, but as far as like that whole group with Emperor, I suppose, too. But I reckon Dark Throne, they have, have a real fucking massive influence on bands just throughout the fucking world, really. I do hear their music, their tone, everything through, yeah. It really does sit on this. And yeah, a number of other releases I fucking, I do find the same thing. 
But this kind of sits almost, if you've got fucking like Transylvanian hunger, and maybe a bit of um, Panzerfaust, and smash the cunts together, you end up with something similar to this. But it really does have that pure second wave feel to it. Yeah, with the, with the Russian, with the spirit of that Russian fucking influence as well. Especially towards the end, like the, the instrumental, instrumental that closes this out, that's fucking, I've heard that on a fucking number of like, um, just on another Russian project. So yeah, it just, you, you just know, you just know with it. But yeah, it's got the runes and all that kind of shit on it. Got the bear fighting the wolf. But yeah, I know who my money's on. But yeah, this is fucking, it is, it's fantastic shit. And I'd urge you to go out, fucking jump on. I think New Era still have copies of this. They were doing bundles, I think, horror, horrible room bundles. I only grabbed the one. Maybe I should have grabbed fucking more, but yeah, this is fucking fantastic. Can't speak highly enough of it. We'll chuck on a fucking snippet of the can't. And yeah, we'll fucking jump into the next fucking release. Let's go. Inspector, just fucking banging away here with his fucking, he's got the keys out, fucking doing his thing. Doing fucking, just doing the work, getting it done. It's exciting. All right, the next next release is probably another one that probably end up on the uh, best ofs for the year. Without doubt, because fucking, I've always loved the band. It's been eight years since their last release. Um, yeah, massive fallouts, I do believe, with fucking the rest of the band, Taylor Young and that, leaving the fucking bizzo. But yeah, it is fucking nails every bridge burning. Absolute fucking cracker. And they fucking, yeah, definitely, definitely haven't lost their fucking pacing with this. Especially with a couple of the boys that he's picked up with fucking, what is it, Carlos Cruz from Warbringers come on and done drums. Shelby Lermo. Oh, I didn't realise he was fucking from Alpha. Yeah, it's another uh, black metal um, style band. But yeah, this is a fucking belter. And yeah. Got the four piece going. You've got rest on here for the fucking artwork, as you can see. Look at that shit. Make for a bit of a quick dick tattoo, that one, I reckon. Look at that. Get that on your snag. There you go, got the boys on the ends there. Yeah, but they haven't lost any of their pace, any of their fucking fierceness. It's, it's all there. It's still fucking, yeah, killer. No fucking filler on these, you know how it goes. It's got 17 minutes worth of pure fucking energy, ferociousness, violence, and it's probably about as heavy as fucking Kimmy K's left hit. That's how heavy this motherfucking is. Yeah. So it's pretty much, yeah, as, as far as I'm concerned, it'll leave you shit and broken glass after a big night on the fucking Tsuvalakis and the chili and the piss. Just cheap Mexican piss. That's what it'll fucking do to you. That's how it'll make you feel. And yeah, hard as fucking nails. I don't fucking, I think, yeah, Todd Jones seems to get a lot of shit. I don't know, fucking, I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but yeah, I've always fucking loved his work. From Terror onwards, just fucking fantastic. The man doesn't miss. He knows how to fucking produce a song or write a song or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Working with the right guys. It's a shame that he had the fallout. I don't know what the fucking fallout was with um, the rest of the band, but yeah, he's recruited some motherfucking geniuses on this thing, so I'm happy with it. Um... Put out, I think there's a fucking number of colours. They've been a bigger band. There's fucking, yeah, all sorts of fucking pressings. I've got the forest green. Because I'm a fancy cunt like that. It's like being a fancy pants. But yeah, if you're not into nails, you're fucking doing it wrong because it's, yeah. I don't know how you couldn't be. It's fun as fuck. It's, yeah, awesome music. I appreciate it. So should you. So don't fuck around. Get out there and fucking support nails. Get on this album. Get on fucking rest work. Get that tattooed on your dick if you want. That's up to you. I might. Because I'm fucking, I'm built that way. I'm girthy like that. So that's what's going on with that. That's nails. We'll see you out with a fucking snippet of nails because fucking, that's what we do here. Um, yeah, fantastic. Shit, we're jumping to the last release. Cheers. <laughs> Yourself. 
Roto Legends, onto the last release for this evening. Now, this is a total different one. I can think of left field, right field, I can think of wherever you want, but it ain't fucking black metal. But it's another fucking, it's another genre that I really do adore. And I love this motherfucker's music, hands down. Can't get enough of it, love it. So fucking, it's another, another genre that I really do adore is fucking Vaporwave. Really do get around it. Was kind of, um, half kind of introduced it by um, MN from um, Overuse, Matt. And um, yeah, from, from, from then on, I've fucking, yeah, I've, I've just adored the shit. Y'all probably won't, but who fucking cares? You don't have to. It's all subjective, isn't it? But this is uh, Mirror Kisses, Bad Dreams. And this is um, actually, it's fucking George Clanton's work. If you don't know, that's who it is. It's fucking George Clanton. So yeah, obviously famous for fucking Esprit, putting out Virtual Zip. Fucking done his own shit. It goes under his own name now. Just put out that um, Urap Aya album. I fucking love all his work. Whether it be, you know, you're more the more vaporwave stylings that he has throughout his work. Or the fucking, although almost like a fucking dream pop on this one. But it has a real fucking, this one itself has a, has a real new new wave essence as well. So yeah, totally fucking 80s. Could be on like a, you know, sitting down fucking, you know, watching a fucking shoddy fucking VHS movie. You know, could be titties in it, could be fucking action, could be, you know, it could be anything. This kind of has that fucking style throughout. It's fucking fantastic. I hear parts from, say, like, New Order. I hear parts from fucking Tears for Fears. Shit like that. If you're interested, it's fucking all here. But, yeah. The very first work I did grab by the man was this, because I fucking, I, I love the cover, and I was like, yeah, that's the one I've got to have first. But, yeah, as I said, all his work is phenomenal. I know he fucking, he's done that album, um, the George Clanton one with uh, the dude from 311. So, yeah, he's a fucking, he's a wild man. Um, yeah, off his fucking dial. Even got the makeup on there, fucking doing his thing. California, that's how they do it over there, I suppose. But yeah, his work is fucking phenomenal. I'm spewing, I, I did miss out on seeing him in Australia. He did play last year in a little bar down here called The Night Cat. I think you get fucking like 50 people there or some shit. Fucking missed it, but oh well. But yeah, like from listening to George Clan, it's like it spurred me on and fucking, you know, since I fucking, you know, listened to like Windows 96, FM Skyline. All has that fucking nostalgic kick that I love too. I fucking love the shit throughout. Through playing fucking, I used to be a massive game. I still love video games. But it has that, that real old school fucking, like even PS1 down to, you know, your Nintendo 64, all that kind of, kind of vibe. Super Nintendo, the fucking soundtracks on them. If you don't like that, you're a fucking boring cunt. But yeah, just George on the inners there. What can I say? This is, it's fucking fantastic. Songs like Proud, She's Gone, um, what else do I like? Fucking nothing. Nah, the fucking whole album's fantastic. Does jump around a bit, it's yeah. Can be fairly up tempo, but yeah, definitely has like a yeah. Still like, almost like a post punk to a fucking yeah, a new wave. It fucking yeah, it bounces around all over the joint. I don't think all he does is plays on a sampler and a guitar, I think, but yeah, does have a backing band, especially for Mirror Kisses. And fucking what else? Um, I, for um, George Clanton as well, I'm pretty sure if he's live, he does have like a backing band. But apart from that, yeah, motherfucker usually plays by himself with just a sampler and a guitar, and I appreciate it. Oh, it does take influences from like, even like your, your late 80s bands like My Bloody Valentine, um, even the QA you hear, you'll hear through his fucking works. I could bang on for hours about this motherfucker. I do it, I love it. This came out on Put out on his own label, 100% Electronica. I do believe it's still readily available. Yeah, it's fucking cool ass vinyl. Just a black and red splatter. Good shit. And yeah, if you're willing to fucking think outside the box, jump on it because yeah, this is where it's at. There are other, there are other genres I listen to like this or fucking even like your power electronics. Really fucking getting around that. That's another one that I was put on via overuse. He's fucking put me onto a couple of good counts, a couple of good uh, projects, and a couple of mates just uh, on Instagram. But yeah, I love the shit. It's good to fucking, you know, I'm not always gonna sit here and fucking slit me throat with fucking black metal. Sometimes I'll get home, still crack a beer, and listen to this, and it still is enjoyable. But yeah, there's some fucking cracking bands from this shit. 
to be fucking, yeah, whatever you want to do. But yeah, if you're fucking willing to give it a shot, give it a go. If not, who fucking cares? Go and listen to the fucking, I don't know, My Dying Bride or fucking, you know, I don't know, punch your cat and fucking, I don't know, don't punch your cat, all right? I don't, no violence with animals. Cats are all right too. I'm a dog person, but yeah, don't go punching your cat. Anyways, listen to this. Cheers. That's it for this, uh, this little vid. So you're just a little fucking filler because yeah, I'm still waiting on the questions back from Big Man um, for that next interview. That's gonna, I'm fucking keen as for that thing. I think I might have a couple more in the works too. So yeah, I might be chatting to a couple of the lads out there and fucking yeah, we'll get a bit of that out and it'll be good. Be good for the channel, a bit different. Let me know if you fuck, get in the fucking comments, see what the fuck's going on there, let me know. If you wanna see some fucking, see me fucking talk some shit with some interviews and fucking, or just talk to some motherfuckers, get some beers in their heads and fucking, you know, see how many shots we can do. See if I can make the guest pass out before me. Okay, that'd be fucking all right. As I said, we'll be going to Hell on the Bay next weekend. So fucking, if you're interested, get in there and fucking get a beer in your head. Fucking say g'day if you want. It's up to you. You don't have to. Don't fucking push me in the water, though. But, um, yeah, apart from that, that's going to be that. Hopefully the next one will be um, having a chat with, with Big Boy. I'm fucking stoked for that one, so hopefully you are too. Keeping it a secret, because that's what I like to do, because I'm a fucking Santa Claus, motherfucker. You ain't getting shit. You're going to get fucking cold. For... Fuck up. I'm going to know. And you're getting fucking cold for Christmas. That's what you're getting. Fucking let's go. Cheers. See yous out. Bye.